Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast where facts over feelings. Thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. We greatly appreciate it. Please be sure to pound that like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Also, please go over to at Rudy's Rant on YouTube and subscribe for my new channel as well as I'll be dropping new content there also. Let's jump on in on the topic at hand. Now, you all know how much I did not like what was going on when Dijonay, Dirtbag Dijonay Carrington Purposefully eye gouged Caitlin Clark in game one of their playoff series. I voiced it. I had my opinion. I thought it was a purposeful dirtbag play after I gave her the benefit of the doubt and said there's no possible way she could have done this on purpose, but she did. The angles from behind show how intentional it was. In fact, there was a body language guy who did a video on it, and I wanted to do a response to his video. I haven't done it yet, but now I'm going to do it. Now I'm definitely going to do it, and I'm going to do it for this reason. This is the reason I'm going to do it, because you know what? If you're going to do something, own your behavior, own what you did, own what you said, own it all. If I say something and it wasn't it and it wasn't meant to hurt somebody, I will absolutely apologize for that. But if I meant to if I said something and I meant to do it and I don't care the react the, what it did to that person or whatever, I'm going to own it cuz that's who I am. That's how I am. I don't sit around and pussyfoot around and sit here and say, "Oh, no, 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 I didn't." No, 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 no. I meant to do that. I meant to say that. That was intentional. The same way ah, was intentional for Dijon Carrington with Caitlin Clark in that eye poke. Heard around the world. But this is why now I'm going in hard. Because I, if you thought I was going hard before, you're going to find out what really going hard truly is. Because apparently I must have come across Dijon Carrington's screen. Clearly, my little podcast has done enough to hurt her feelings. Oh, sweet baby. I'm so sorry for having offended thee. Please, please, please. Don't, don't be mean to me. Don't, 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 don't do this. Oh, my goodness. We got blocked by DJ Carrington. You cannot make this up. We have Made it! Dijonay Carrington has blocked us. I guess four videos, or was it three, or was it four? I forget the count. I guess four videos of shredding her for being a scumbag is all it took. And to think I didn't even talk about her getting ousted by the Minnesota Lynx. I didn't even talk about it. I didn't talk about her dirtbag play on Courtney Williams, where she clearly body chucked her into the stands. I didn't talk about it. But you saw that play, right? You found out that she is just a dirty basketball player. She will do anything. It doesn't matter who she hurts, how she hurts them, or whatever it is, she will do it. And in, in, in retrospect, I, I respect a player that will do anything it takes, everything and anything that it takes to win. I respect that about players, but not if you're purposely trying to hurt them. That's where you cross the line. You cross the line when you're purposely trying to take them out. See, that was a thing when I was in high school. Heck, it wasn't even before high school, but you hear from NFL videos where it's like, my job is to knock the QB out. I'm not trying to injure him. I just want him out of the game. Because if their starting quarterback is out of the game, that improves our opportunity to win. It doesn't mean I'm trying to hurt him. I mean, injure him. It means I'm trying to hurt him. 
but I'm not trying to actually hurt him. I'm trying to hit him hard enough within the confines of the game to knock him out of the game. It doesn't mean I'm going to hit him five seconds after the whistle. It doesn't mean I'm going to body chuck him into the stands. It doesn't mean I'm going to eye gouge him. It means I'm going to do whatever I can within the rules of the game to take him out. Within the rules. That's the key word, within the rules. But yes, we are now blocked by dirty Dijonet, I'm sorry, dirtbag Dijonet Carrington. Dirtbag Dijonet. She, along with her girlfriend, Melissa Smith, recently posted a video on TikTok. They did it live, no less. They did this live. These women have no I don't even know what the word would be. I gotta think, I gotta look at the, I gotta go look at my SAT book. Because I don't even know what the word would be to, to describe the type of humans these two are. These two humans are are utter garbage. The fact that you would do something in a game, then deny that you did it on purpose. When asked the question, act like this, act dismissively to the reporter. The reporter now, Christine Brennan, who is being attacked by the players' union for having to, to strip her of her credentials. Remember that players' union? Y'all wrote that long ass five page thing that 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 P, that statement uh, going at Christine Brennan and how unethical and what a horrible human she is and what a bad reporter she is in y'all eyes. Remember that. Remember y'all posted that. You had no issues trying to go after a 40-year journalist's career defending a dirtbag. I think about that. You're defending a dirtbag. And you're going to come on here and you're going to say all this about Brennan. And then we're going to have Sarah Spain going her own little thing where she's accusing Christine Brennan of filing a complaint against Dewana Bonner, I think it was, over some altercation. And then it turns out that she never filed the complaint. In fact, Christine Brennan went on social media and said, I've never filed a complaint. You could have called me before you decided to post your little tweet because you wanted to be so important. You wanted to be that person who, who you know, who got, who, who reported this first. Because let's, 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 let's understand, journalism today isn't journalism. Journalism today is whoever can tweet the fastest. And if they're accurate, great. If they're not, who cares? Because guess what? Nobody cares. No one holds people accountable for the things that they say. There's no accountability, there's no responsibility, nothing to hold you responsible and accountable for what you say. Because Christine Brennan would be in her right mind to sue Sarah Spain. Understand, she didn't file a complaint. So now Sarah Spain's running it back saying, after the exchange, Christine called the league PR to report a confrontation. Leak PR is not filing a complaint. If you're reporting, that's what Sarah Spain says. We haven't heard what Christine Brennan says. In fact, Christine Brennan says she's never called anyone from the leak. Christine says, and the leak confirmed that she didn't officially file a complaint. So, Sarah Spain, you made something up. You were wrong. And your sources were wrong. And yeah, you've now clarified when you should be utterly apologizing, not trying to massage words because that's what you're doing you're massaging words brendan said hi sarah this is inaccurate it's false i have not filed a complaint i have not contacted anyone at the league your sources are wrong now spain says after the exchange christine called pr see You got five sources, Sarah. Maybe your sources are all wrong. Who the heck knows? Maybe you should look back at them and say, why would you tell me that? I don't know. Who, 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 who knows here? But end of the day, 
She apologizes for using the word father complaint instead of reported the incident. So you were wrong. So no, you're not going to really apologize. You're going to say, well, she still called. Well, that's what you say because she still denies it. She's, Christine Brennan flat said, I have not contacted anyone at the league. All right. Remember, Christine Brennan is a feminist. So, okay. Um, I love to see what Christine Brennan says in response to this. But let's get to this because this is now another, this goes hand in hand with this DeJanae Carrington thing because this is now the same reporter who had the, had the situation, the question with DeJanae, the, the, the two questions of DeJanae Carrington. Now apparently there's a Dewana Bonner situation who happens to play for the Connecticut Sun as well. But now let's look at what DeJanae and Melissa Smith, Caitlin Clark's former teammate or still current teammate, but soon to be former teammate, how they made a little seemingly what looks to be a skit, because this can't be real, because they're live and this seems very, very contrived and fake. But they're joking. They think it's funny. And they're going to make fun and poke fun. Ah, yes, pun intended. Poke fun. I should say eye gouge fun at Caitlin Clark. So look, let's let's look at that real quick. This is Melissa Smith's TikTok live, nine hundred some odd, nine hundred fifty plus people watching. Ow! You poked me in the eye. And then what does Melissa Smith do? She looks down on her fingernails. She looks down at her nails. <laughs> Laugh, giggle, funny. Did you do it on purpose? I did not poke you in the eye. Did you do it on purpose? Now, was this a skit? Was this a joke? Was this real? Whatever it was, if it was done on purpose as a joke to poke fun, to eye gouge fun, to poke fun, it's classless. It's utterly classless. It's classless. But it's par for the course for these two. Dijanae Carrington is who she is. Melissa Smith might actually be worse. Because Melissa Smith shared a locker room with Caitlin Clark for five months while being sabotaged. Caitlin Clark got sabotaged by her former, soon to be former teammate, where they're making fun of. What happened in a game which could have damaged Caitlin Clark's eye? I mean, let's, let's watch this again. Let's make them famous. They need to be made famous for this type of shit. Because this is a disgrace. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. You bet your ass that was on purpose. That was done to that was a that was on purpose. She literally put her hand up like that. Like, like that was done on purpose. This was a this was a clear need to make fun of the situation with Caitlin Clark. Remember, Dejanae Carrington claims that she had no idea she touched Caitlin Clark, had no idea she poked her, even though they're gig she and Marina Mabry are laughing, ha-ha, kiki, and, you know, poking themselves, poking the eye. I mean, yeah, they claim it was the Carmelo thing. Yeah, yeah, sh sh sure it was. Sure it was. No, 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 no. This is the example of a classic piece of garbage. And they both are. So, DJNA, you blocked me. Let's take a check real quick to see if your girly blocked me too. I'm just curious. Nah, I haven't, I haven't been blocked by her yet. Eh, who cares? Come on, Alyssa, block me too, man. Make me feel good. You know, yeah, she hasn't blocked me yet. She might now. She might now. But again, let's 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 do this one more time. Boom. Ow! I'm sorry. You poked me in the eye. <laughs> you did. Not 
Did you do it on purpose? I did not poke you in your eye. There you have it, folks. This is who Dirtbag Dijon Carrington is and her girlfriend, saboteur, Melissa Smith, who absolutely sabotaged the Indiana Fever every time they played the Connecticut Sun. She did everything. There's a reason she didn't play much in the playoffs, because everything she did was to hurt the Indiana Fever. The fact that you can make fun and create a skit like that and think it's funny. And yet you have the WNBA Players Association going after an esteemed, respected journalist. Maybe y'all on the WNBA Players Association Association should retract your, your, your statement now. Maybe you should. You, you might want to take that course. Because when you defend dirt bags, you get more dirt bag behavior. It doesn't change. Treat her the way you would want the NFL to treat a dirt bag. Treat a dirt treat tell treat her the way you would want the NBA to deal with a dirt bag. I, I, I mean, I could use words that are far worse. I could use words that are far worse. <clears throat> but as far as I'm concerned, this video puts it completely over the top and further solidifies that there's no doubt at all that DJNA Carrington eye gouged Caitlin Clark on purpose. No doubt. No doubt at all. This is Rudy's rant. Power coming out on the podcast where we practice facts over feelings. Be sure to subscribe to at Rudy's Rant, my other YouTube channel, along with be sure to drop that like, drop a comment, and certainly subscribe and come on now the podcast if you have not done so already. I truly appreciate you. I greatly appreciate you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? What do you think of this? Come on now. <laughs>